Oh, I'm Tankfish, the YouTuber, and we do a little shanky in the East End of London, yeah? Oi, 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 you wanker, what's all this? We got my stabbing license. Cheers, mate, bro. What a quite sat in it, bro. Oh, I may have been rude to put that knife in my chest, yeah? <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. Welcome to Murder Mr. 2, the meeting spot for the Mexican cartel. They disguise themselves as our thoughts to avoid suspicion from the government. Clever. I have tried to decipher their language and to infiltrate into their organization, but to no avail. Now it seems that the Taliban's also started using this method to exchange vital information. Also, for some reason, there's like a whole page of murder mystery. It's like f***ing Call of Duty. People remade the same f***ing game a million times. They're not bait games neither, because they all got players. We got Murder Mystery 5 and Murder Murder Mystery 5, but Roman number. Also, they seem not to have learned what comes after 10 in elementary school. Like, Murder Mystery 10 is the highest it goes. It it's 11, by the way. 11 comes after 10. So Murder Mystery 2 is basically watered down Among Us for toddlers. Instead of having heated discussions. Red sauce. Shut the fuck up! Just shut up! About who the sussy imposter Amogus is and ejecting them. You just f***ing shoot them. Alright, this thing called gun is so convenient. Solves all the problems. The game is pretty simple. There's a psychopathic British whose goal is to shank everyone. There's a sheriff, he can do the funny to the murderer with a revolver. The revolver only has one bullet in it. Wh why? What, what the f***? Is this the piggy universe where all guns have one bullet? And there's the innocent people who simply went to the wrong place in the wrong time. If the sheriff dies, he drops his gun and the innocents can pick that shit up to murder the murderer, then plead not guilty in court because it was all self-defense. However, if you have the gun and you shoot someone who's innocent, you die. Why? Because you can no longer plead not guilty in court since what you just did there was a third degree manslaughter. And instead of dying in dishonor, you choose to end your own life. This game mechanic is to prevent me from killing everyone as a sheriff because I totally do that. The murderer can also throw knives and somehow magically pull another one out of his ass. It's like f***ing Dio. And your chance of becoming the murderer increases every time that you're not. Kind of like real life. The longer you live, the chance of you becoming a murderer increases. The does it work like that? I mean, a 90 years old probably has more chance of having murdered someone at one point in his life than a 9 year old, right? The game is intended to be played similarly to Among Us! And if you have played the game when it first came out, that was actually how it was played. You know, people would actually have conversations sussing each other out, and the murderer would actually try to be subtle and shift the sus to other people to make the sheriff murk innocent people. However, the players quickly realized that you can just go f and haywire as the murderer because unlike a mogus, there's no kill cooldown. So now the game kind of evolved into a parkour juking f fest where the murderer would just commit homicide in plain daylight after going full SEAL Team Bin Laden mun hunting on the sheriff and where tryhards would constantly mauled about the shit knife hitbox and gun hit registration. First, there's the sheriffs. There's two types. They either have had childhood iron deficiency and miss all their shots, or they have aimbot. Next, the murderers. There's the guy who has zero patience and goes straight to the killing, and for some reason, there will always happen to be a sheriff nearby, and the man will be put down like a rabies-infested dog. Then there's the kid who lives in Antarctica. He will use his shitty Wi-Fi to fucking anime teleport behind you and shank you in the back. There's the guy who JFK's the sheriff, then proceed to camp the gun like the French in Verdun for the the rest of the game. There's the guy who has no clue what the f*** is doing, and there's some dual-wielding little Nas X radio slander sweat. As for the rest, we got the dude who just f***ing dips after he gets the innocent roll. The tryhard will literally matrix dodge all the throwing knives and juke the murderer by going through the 13th dimension and back. This guy probably sits so close to his monitor that every time he blinks, his eyelashes brush away any dust on the screen. Then there's the guy who just hides at one spot and either hopes that the murderer's mom accidentally dropped him when he was young, resulting in the murderer being unable to comprehend and use the footsteps ability, or that the murderer is too rich and didn't equip the footsteps ability so he can't find him. There's the dude who on God seeks to collect all the coins to fill up his bag like some Mario wannabe, even if it kills him, because he has to get enough coins to open that case to fuel his gambling addiction. Finally, there's the teamers. They will ghost cam the murderer or do the super okay. game murderer sheriff team, where the sheriff would just watch in joy as all the innocents get disemboweled by the murderer. Everyone fucking hates him, despite the fact that everyone does it and had been teamers. Once someone else
else is teaming, he should burn in hell. But when you are teaming, it's a little bit of trolling and tomfoolery. It's a diplomatic relationship, tactical alliance, mutual interest cooperation, having friends, apes together strong, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this one. The dude who played for like two hours straight to finally get murderer only to get one tap instantly by some mental sheriff. There are three game modes. Casual, Hardcore, and Assassin. Casual is basically the normal game mode where you play as your own character and have access to all the random bullshit. It's like the radio, emotes, pets, and other stuff. Hardcore is for the boomers who always say that the original murder mystery is the best. You get randomly generated characters with a random name playing first person and have no access to all the random bullshit. It's basically murder mystery one that no one plays anymore. That's why no one plays Hardcore. Assassin is basically bootleg Chinese knockoff frame. Everyone has a knife, you've got a target to kill, and someone has you as a target. Kill your target and avoid getting killed. That's how Mafia works. Because all the toddlers playing Roblox have an attention span of a f***ing goldfish, the raw gameplay might bore them and make them leave the game. So the creator added a shop where you can buy shits like pets, emotes, effects, and other random items like food, protest signs, and terrorist threats to amuse yourself. They're the equivalent of fidget spinners for autistic children. My favorites are of course the radio and the spray paint. I use the radio to blast my shitty anime playlist to annoy the slenders. The five hundred bull bucks I spent was totally worth it. And my spray paint to put some questionable images on the wall. That might get me banned, but I still haven't, so I'm gonna keep doing it. In casual, the murderer can equip powers they can buy from the shop to become, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Food steps. Everyone gets it. It's like Rainbow Six Siege Jackals Inox Mark III, but made in China. Inox Mark II. Ninja. It's like silent farts. You make no sound when you kill someone. Slide makes you throw nice faster. Sprint gives you an ability to sprint for a couple of seconds. I don't know why that's an ability. Everyone should be able to do that. Trap. You, you play too much piggy, bro. Wrong game. Fake gun. You get a fake airsoft gun to approach unsuspecting targets. You know, doing some 200 IQ big brain moves. But most of the time it doesn't work and you'll get shot right in the face when there's a guy with a gun but you're the sheriff. Haste. Make you run slightly faster with your knife out. Go you can f***ing disappear for a couple of seconds. Insert father disappearing joke here. X-ray. No, don't report me, I'm not hacking. Skin crates, highly addictive. They're like meth for children. And the best thing is, they're legal. It ensures that the kids will keep playing your game for an extra injection of K's opening thrill straight into their bloodstreams. You can use coins or diamonds to open crates. You get coins by collecting them on the map and diamonds by using your mom's credit card. You get a random knife or gun skin and if the skin is rare, you can flex it on other people. You can also craft skins using the materials you get from salvaging other shittier skins. It's kind of like cooking your breakfast with leftover dinner from yesterday. No, that doesn't make sense. And just like any game with a trading system, dumb kids get hella scammed. And scamming dumb kids is arguably the best way to get good skins for free. And I'm not saying you should go and scam people, I'm just saying it's always an option. Mom, they stole my epic knife. They said they're gonna give me bull bugs. <laughs> There's not really an end to this game, you just get better at it and slowly turns into a sweat for whom playing murder mystery is the equivalent of taking a shower of sweat. Ruining the game for all the 9 years old, literally knocking the ice cream out of their hand, telling them that they won't have any fun on that day. You feel joy as you glance over your weird Roman alphabet number in front of your level, looking down on the low level no prestige plebs on the bottom of the leaderboard because you know that they suck at the game. You don't care that you level and prestige have absolutely fuck all any purpose and are basically useless. It's like a badge of honor for not having touched grass for the past year. That's it for this video. Subscribe, like, like and comment E for the algorithm god. Or the imposter will appear on your bed at 3am.